It's the 72nd Annual National Association of Farm Broadcasting Convention in Kansas City. I'm Brian Wunkins on Real Country 1430 WRDN and also online at our website at realcountry1430.com. I'd like to thank Animal Wellness Center of Buffalo Valley, Animus Silo of Durant, also BASF and Growth Energy, along with the National Rural Electric Cooperative Association. They are helping us with our videos at our website at realcountry1430.com. I'm with Todd Horowitz, also known as Bubba, from BubbaTrading.com, and we're going to do Commodities 101. Many of you uh, listen to our market reports throughout the day, also Chip Flurry with Market Rally. So we're going to talk about uh, what some of the things they're saying mean. And uh, Todd, thanks for joining us. First, tell us, tell, tell us a little bit about yourself. I've been in the industry since 1980. I started out as an equity trader and moved over to the Board of Trade, and I've become into the agricultural space, cattle and grains and things like that. And I've done you know very well doing it. And i become an educator here now that we, I'm getting into my elderly years, and, and I really want to be able to help the innocent understand what goes on in markets and how markets really function, because it's really about price discovery and, and where we go and, and what's the fair value, and not to really try to pick tops and bottoms, but learn how to hedge or put yourself in a position where you don't lose as much money. Okay, let's talk about some of the things that I'll be talking about during my market summaries. Uh, everyone wants to know, what's a put? A put gives the, the buyer the right to sell something at a certain price. So if you buy a put in corn options right now at $4, you have the right to sell corn at $4. Now, to get that right, you pay a premium, okay? So what happens is you go out and pay a premium to buy that put, but if the market does go down from that level and it goes down far enough, you'll be able to cover that premium cost and actually be out of your crop at X amount of dollars, whatever the premium is. So it's $4 minus what you paid, and that'll get you out at that price. And it's very important to understand when you're buying premium, because premium changes. The level changes based on the fear that's in the marketplace. As we go lower, fear tends to generally gravitate and markets become more volatile because there's more panic, right? All of a sudden, oh, how am I gonna pay the bills? My, my crops are going down to nothing, so I gotta get in and I gotta buy puts. It's always the worst time to think about it. You wanna be in and protected when you're at solid levels and not when the market's panicking. Because when the market is panicking, we call that a blow off. And usually what will happen is you'll get that push down and then right away the market's reversed. But the real key is you'll pay, you'll pay too much for that premium of that insurance policy and that's what you want to avoid. Okay, so uh, the opposite of a put is a call and uh, we're not calling somebody. Uh, to define a call. A call is the exact opposite of a put. It gives the buyer the right to buy something at a certain price. So back to $4 corn. If I want to buy corn at $4, I can buy a call that gives me the right to own that particular commodity at $4. So if it stays below 4 then all I do is lose the premium that I paid for it. But if it goes to 5 then I make a dollar minus whatever I paid as that premium. And again, that fluctuates as well depending on market conditions. And we see volatility changes back and forth as human emotion fear and greed take over, we start to see those changes. So it's always very important to understand when you call, you're calling it away, so you're gonna own it, you're buying the right to buy. Anytime you buy an option, you're buying the right to do something. There are also our option writers, which sell options, which are selling the obligation, but for that obligation, they're collecting an insurance premium. Again, talking with Todd Horowitz from BubbaTrading.com, a little bit of Commodity 101. A lot of times in uh, my market summaries, and I've had, again, listeners, uh, non-farm listeners go, you say, uh, what's, what's short covering? What, are we burying somebody who's short? Or what, what's going on with that? <laughs> you know what happens a lot, Brian, is markets get overdone. And I believe, like, even in today's market right now, we're probably a little bit overdone to the downside. I'm actually very bullish the, the grain space here because I think we're down at levels based on all the economic circumstances that were lower. Now, what's going to happen is there's a lot of shorts out there. A lot of big commercial houses are short, huge. What's going to happen one day is the markets, there's going to be some news, something's going to change, and some of the buyers are going to start to step in. Short covering is when they start crawling over each other to get out, and all of a sudden you see prices explode. And we just recently saw that in the cattle markets. We had limit down, limit down, limit down. Everybody got short at the bottom. Next thing you know, they're chasing it back up, and it's like crawling over each other to get out. And what happens is prices expand, volatility expands, premiums expand. And that's when you want to look to be because you have to be in this business you have to be unemotional and follow the plan that you put together and watch the technicals of the market because they'll teach you everything finally uh as well the opposite of short covering is 
long liquidation. And the way I've always explained it has been, well, the, uh, the prices have been really high and you know what, we've made some money, so we're going to either liquidate those positions, also known as profit taking, we're just gonna take some profits off the table. There is profit taking, which is always a good thing to do, right? You wanna make sure you, you did something for a reason, you wanna take the profit, you don't wanna be greedy, because as we know, bears get a little, bulls get a little bit, and the pigs get slaughtered, okay? But the other thing you wanna remember is sometimes there is long liquidation, which means that somebody got caught with too much on, and they get, it, that's called forced liquidation, and the most one I can read just off the top of my head I can bring up is Nelson Bunker Hunt in the silver market years ago. He was forced liquidation, and that can happen in a market. So you want to be very careful. Take your profits when you have them. Follow your plan. Follow a direct correlation to technical ability and charts, and then you'll find a much better opportunity, and you'll make more money. Now you've also written a book. You can raise the book up here. It's uh, called uh, Buy, or Bubba's Guide to Trading Options. Tell us a little bit about the book and where folks can get it. Uh, actually, right now, I'm actually offering it for free, just shipping $9.95, but it's on Amazon, it's on Barnes & Noble. But if they like me, they can go to my website at bubbatrading.com, and they can go get a copy. Now, this book is based for more equity trading, but the same principles apply. As we get more into the farming, we're going to come out with another manual for farmers directly, but it teaches you how to basically hedge a crop hedge your, your finances without giving up the risk and being able to benefit from the upside, which in the old days they only could lock in that price and if it went up, they didn't get to participate. We want people to be able to participate from both sides of the market. Well, Todd, again, thanks for joining us uh, and we always enjoy it when you're on with Chip Flurry and Market Rally as well uh, throughout the day. Thanks again. Thank you so much, Brian. Great to be here. That's uh, Todd Horowitz with uh, BubbaTrading.com from the National Association of Farm Broadcasting Convention in Kansas City. I'm Brian Winnikins.